For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. I'm using the Karen Simply Soft. I'll leave the details in the description box below. You will need the corresponding crochet hook. For this particular yarn, you want to use a five millimeter. You want a pair of scissors and a darning needle. For this particular pattern, you're going to work in multiples of 10 because each of these sections here is 10. So we're going to start off by doing our chain so you want to grab your first colour and make your slip knot. If you're using these Karen Simply Soft uh, balls of yarn, you actually want to pull them out from the centre and it makes it much easier to use. So you want to begin by making your slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer. You're going to grab your crochet hook and then pull that loop onto your hook. So remember that this loop on the hook does not count as a stitch in your chain. And you're going to start off by doing your multiples of 10. So you're going to grab the yarn and pull it through for a chain. Grab the yarn, pull it through. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So what you're going to do is keep doing multiples of 10 until you get to the width of the project you want. This particular sample piece here is actually 30 chains in total. So go ahead and pause the video and chain your length and meet me back in just a moment. So once you've chained your length you then want to add a chain 3 and this is your turning chain. So we're going to go 1, 2 and 3. And we're going to start off by doing a double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So remember I'm talking in UK terms, in the US this is known as a single crochet. So this is our first chain, this is our second chain. We're going to insert our hook into that chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook, grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook. We're then going to do a, another double crochet into the next chain. So doing exactly the same thing as you've just done before. Insert the hook, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook, grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook. So this is the start of our pattern now. And we're actually going to uh, make our stitches bigger in order to create the wave and then smaller again. So in this next stitch, in this next chain just here, we're actually going to start increasing the height of our stitch and we're going to do a half treble crochet, which is the UK term. This is known as a half double crochet in the US. So what we're going to do is yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch. Grab the yarn and pull it through and you'll have three loops on your hook. What we want to do here is grab the yarn and pull through all three loops on that hook and it makes that stitch slightly higher than the next. Our next stitch is going to be a treble crochet, so that's a double crochet in US terms. You're going to yarn over, insert the hook, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have three loops on the hook, grab the yarn, pull through two loops and then yarn over, pull through two loops. And we're going to do that stitch again. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So our next stitch is going to be even taller. So we're actually going to do a double treble, which is a treble in the US. And what we do for this is yarn over twice, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, you'll have four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. And we're going to do that again. Yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So this is the tallest we're going to get with our stitches. Now we're actually going to work our way back down again and it's just going to be a mirror image. So this centre bit here is the very centre of the, uh, the pattern and we're just going to repeat what we've done. So we're going to do our two trebles into the next two stitches or one treble into the next two stitches. So that's one.
and two. We're then going to do a half treble into the next stitch, which is a half double into um, in US terms. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three. And then we're going to do a double crochet, which in the US is single. So one and two. So the pattern is really, really easy. We've got two doubles, a half treble, two trebles, two double trebles, and then two trebles, a half treble, and then two doubles. So that's what we're going to do all the way along this chain. So we've already started the next pattern because we've just done our two trebles. Um, each wave is separated by those two trebles. So the next one we do is a half treble. And then two trebles. One. And two. We're going to do two double trebles. One. And two. Working our way back down, so two trebles. One. And two. We're going to do a half treble. And then two double crochets. One. And two. So go ahead and pause the video. Rewind and start back from my instructions where we started the wave again if you need to. But repeat that pattern all the way to the end and meet me back once you've got to your last stitch. You will finish on your double crochets. So as I said, when you get to the end of your row, you will finish on your double crochets. Um, I've left my last stitch um, here free because I'm going to show you how I will change colours to uh, get to my next row. So you want to insert your hook. Grab the yarn and pull it through just like you would do a normal double crochet. Then I'm going to grab my new colour. I'm going to hook it onto the um, hook and then pull that through. You can pull down on your old colour and then just pull tight on your new colours. And then we're just going to start off by chaining three. One, two, three and here we're ready for our next round. So I did on my sample piece actually try to see what it would look like if you carried your yarn but I really wasn't keen on how that was looking. So I would suggest that you do snip off your yarn here. So grab your scissors, snip off your yarn and what I like to do is just put um, a knot in those two loose bits of yarn and then you're ready to go. So I'm going to turn my work and this is going to class as our first stitch. So that is the, um, the highest stitch of your wave. So if I hold the wave up like this, what we're actually aiming to do now is to make this uh, flat um, so that it becomes two straight lines on either end. So this is classing as our double treble. And then what we want to do to stay true to the pattern is do another tre double treble into the next stitch. So we're not going into this very first stitch here, we're going into this one, that's the second double of that row. So you're going to yarn over twice into that stitch, catching both of the uh, loops there. Grab the yarn, pull it through and then just do your double treble as normal. And then we're going to make our stitches smaller, so the next one will be a treble. And then another treble. Then we'll do our half treble. And 
and then by this point you're actually um, to the section where these are your double trebles from the last round which is correct. So you want to make sure that your double crochets from this round line up with your double trebles from the last round. So we're going to do one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then it's just a process of working your way back along the pattern again. So the next stitch is going to be a half treble, then two trebles, one, and two. Then we're going to do two double trebles. And again, these should be in the double crochets from the last round. So always make sure that you're double checking and making sure you're on track uh, with the pattern, otherwise it won't line up properly. And then working our way back again, so treble, treble, half treble, and then two doubles. So hopefully you're picking up the pattern by now and you should be seeing the pattern form. What I want you to do is pause the video, work your way along this row and then meet me back in the last uh, last chain. We're going to continue with the same colour for the next row so we don't need to change colours. So go ahead, pause the video and I'll meet you back in just a moment. So I've just come to the end of this row, I've done my double, double, half treble, 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 double treble and then we just have one more double treble left to do in this very last stitch. Please don't forget about that very last one. So yarn over and then you just want to slip your hook into there. That one might be a bit of a tricky one to get into but please do not skip that stitch. So now what we want to do is um, work our way back along the opposite way and we're actually going to begin by chaining three again. One, two and three. This pattern is actually a five row repeat. Um, some people think it's just a two row but the way the pattern builds it is actually a five row. So we're now going to make our wave uh, higher to lower again and this will kind of create the uh, wobble to the actual pattern. I, I, especially in this colour I always think it looks a bit like a fish. <laughs> so uh, this is what's going to create that pattern just now. So we've done our chain three which is classing as our double treble. We're now going to do our double treble into the next stitch, so not into the bottom of this one, into the next stitch. And we are going to continue with our pattern um, all the way along. So two double trebles, a treble, a treble, a half treble, and then making sure our doubles line up with our doubles from our last row. One and two. So you're going to continue along that uh, your work, um, doing exactly the same as what we've do been doing before. So building upwards and then building down, making sure that your doubles line up with your doubles and your double trebles line up with your double trebles. So pause the video, work your way along this row and meet me back once you've finished. We are actually going to uh, change colours for the next round, so stop on your second to last stitch. Okay, so I'm all the way to the end of this row now and I'm going to do my last stitch in this chain three just here. So it's yarn over twice and then insert your hook into the third chain from the bottom grab the yarn and pull it through and then we're going to, going to start off by doing our double treble exactly the same as we have been but we're going to leave the last two loops on the hook and pick up our original colour or if you're using three colours that's absolutely fine. So grab your next colour, loop it on your hook and then pull it through. 
pull down on the um, previous colour, pull down on your new colour and then we're going to snip off the yarn from our previous row. And then I'm going to tie those loose ends together just so that I know it's nice and secure and we'll weave those in later. So if we look at the pattern now, uh, we actually have the dip in here. So we're actually going to work at making this flat. So for this round, rather than chaining three like we have done, we're actually going to chain one because that's gonna class as a double crochet. Turn the work and then do a double crochet into the next stitch. And just as we've done before, we're going to continue with our pattern. So I've just done my two doubles. This is my half treble, 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 and then I would do my two double trebles. So go ahead and um, do your stitches all the way along. Again, the next row is going to be the same colour. So meet me back once you're at the end of this row. So I'm now at the very end of my work and I've just done my last double just here and then I'm just going to do the last and the very last double in my chain three from the previous row. Um, apologies, I think before I said it was a five row repeat but actually it's a four row repeat. So this next row is going to be exactly the same as this very first one. So we're going to chain one and turn our work and now we're going to start off by making our uh, waves go up and down again just like this very first row. So you just continue on um, with each rows now, changing every two rows so that you get uh, this lovely wave pattern going through your work. It's a really simple and easy um, pattern to do although it does look like it is fairly complicated but it's much easier than what you think. As long as you make sure that you're lining up your stitches with these, uh, with your doubles and double trebles, you'll be absolutely fine and this will build into a beautiful blanket. You can use two colours, three colours, four colours, as many colours as you want, uh, just as long as you're changing it every two rows. But that is your rolling waves pattern tutorial, I really hope you like it. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall I'll see you again next time. Bye!